Do you need plugins for podcast production? Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and I'll be answering that question in this video. It's a really good question. Do you really need uh, loads of third-party plugins, VSTs or audio units to make your podcast sound great? Or can you get away with using uh, the native effects inside Audacity, GarageBand or Adobe Audition CC 2018? Well, let me show you one of my favorites and then I'll show you a few that you might want to get. But then again, you might be just fine using native effects. We'll find that out uh, in this video. By the way, today is the day that I present at Social Media Marketing World 2018, hence why you're watching a pre-recorded video on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can check out all the details on our website uh, or head over to find out more about the event and uh, what's happening right now and how you can sign up to get yourself a virtual ticket at mrc.fm slash smmw. If you're in San Diego, come and say hi at Social Media Marketing World 2018. Uh, so here, uh, I've got a little sample here of a podcast uh, with lots of breaths in. Remember, we were talking about breaths in the podcast editing tips yesterday. Radio with background in radio. But I would say, actually, a radio present. Now, let's just uh, cut all those breaths together to really hear how many breaths are just in this short sample here. Ready? There are this many breaths. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of breaths. Now, there is a plugin uh, that actually I'm demonstrating in my talk today at Social Media Marketing World, and I thought I'd show you it in action here on the channel so you can, you can figure for yourself whether it's worth to get these plugins. So we're going to, uh, let's go into audio units and we'll pick one out from Waves, and it is, there's so many here, it is the Debreather here, Debreath. Uh, now, as this only works on mono audio, I'm going to copy this and stick it into a mono audio file. Let's actually just paste it here. And then later on, I can go to edit and we want to convert sample type to be a mono sample. There we go. Now effects, audio units, waves, and we're going for Debreath. This should, as if by magic. I'm working in radio with background in radio. But I would say, actually, a radio presenter or someone who, who has been on radio would be a far better person for that than a voice over. So it's kind of magic there. And you notice when the breaths are coming in, the reduction is just dipping in like this. But I'm but I working in radio with background in radio. But I would say, actually, a radio presenter or someone who, who has been on radio would be a fun. And of course, you can choose the reduction to be a lot less if you want to keep the podcast sounding natural. I'm working in radio with background in radio. But I would say, actually, turn it right up a bit more. So you're getting, you're basically getting a duck of minus 12.4 dB. I'm working in radio with background in radio. But I would say, actually, or pull it right down and you lose the breath entirely. I'm working in radio with background in radio. But I would say, actually, a radio presenter or someone who, who has been on radio would be a far better person for that than a voice. A lot less natural if you pull the reduction right down. But yeah, anywhere around 30, minus 30 dB to minus 14 dB is going to be a nice happy medium. So deep breath, that is from Waves Audio. Uh, it's really good. And yes, I would recommend this one for podcasters. I do think it's good for reducing those breaths, particularly if you're adding compression and uh, making the breaths louder. Deep breath can make them go the other way, which is kind of what you want. If you want a 10% discount on any Waves Audio plugin, head over to mrc.fm slash waves. Now, a few plugins that are good, but I don't know whether you really need them. Uh, let's go back into Waves, uh, Waves Audio. Uh, you've got DSs, but they come with most audio editors. So really, uh, a lot of these uh, reverbs and um, uh, all of these kind of cool morphoders and uh, voice manipulation plugins are really for radio imaging and, and podcast production of intros and outros. So you're not really going to need them for day-to-day -day use. But one other plugin that I can recommend in this video that you may well need or you may like is the Vocal Rider. This piece of technology from Waves Audio is amazing. And I'm just going to drop down and show you. Uh, let's go for Low Rider and listen to watch what the fader does. I'm working in radio with background in radio, but I would say actually a radio presenter or someone who. You see how that fader is moving far faster than I could ever hope to move it on my mixing desk? It's not compression, it's someone riding a, riding a face to, <laughs> I can't even say it, riding a fader really fast. Look at what it does when I apply it. Boom. 
leveled out audio. So the vocal rider may be something you want to use if you want to keep your podcast sounding natural without adding, uh, adding heavy compression in and bits like that. So two plugins that I've mentioned here, definitely worth investigating if you're a podcaster. That is the vocal rider from Waves Audio and the Deep Breath plugin from Waves Audio. Again, you can get a 10% uh, discount on any Waves Audio plugin by heading to mrc.fm slash waves. <laughs>